and what is DevSecOps and how does that tie into network security? Comcast Nooper Davis, Senior Vice President of Product Security and Privacy, believes that security is not just about business or technology, it's also about culture. Here at the Dell TI Now Studio at TIA 2016 Network of the Future, we'll look into the meaning behind DevSecOps and Nooper. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. All right. Well, I was just going to start by sort of giving sure. us a broad brush description of what the heck is DevSecOps. Sure. Um, just yet another string of acronyms, right? So um, you have to kind of go back a little to the history of um, development, of software development. Um, we, uh, way, way back when I started, uh, we used to write code and throw it over the wall, and there were be some testers who would test it, and then you know we would release it. And our whole um, paradigm back then was you can kind of test quality into software. And we realized that's not how it really works. And we moved in the like late 90s, early 2000s, you know, there was this big movement where developers and testers worked together. And uh, we built quality in. So the next wall was between dev and ops. So now we were developing you know, high quality products, now we were throwing it over the wall to the operations people. So you figure out how it runs on the network, you figure out how to configure our servers, you figure out all the operations details, we're not gonna be bothered with it. So that wall got broken down with the DevOps um, model. And now operations and development teams work very, very closely together to make sure that what we're building will actually run in our operational environment. Environment. The third bit now that is still over the wall in a lot of places is security. So we think about security kind of after the thought. It's afterthought. So um, DevSecOps is now bringing all three of those things together, development, security, and operations. And we want to build products and services that take into account the operating environment and the security environment right from the beginning. I want to talk quickly about security by design. This has been sort of a hot topic, not only at this show, just industry-wide throughout the year. Aren't we talking about, when talking about security by design, talking more about integrity, more so than availability and privacy, keeping in mind that you need all three? Yes. So. Um uh, no, you know, secure by design actually looks at all three. So um, let me give you an example. Um, if I am, uh, uh, the, the main thing behind security, of course, is protection of your data and your information, right? So in other words, we, we talk, uh, talk about it as information security, for example. So um, to protect your information, um, you really need to think about not just the integrity, which deals with who is authorized to make changes. Right? So integrity is all around tampering with my information. I want to make sure that my information is how I left it and that if it got changed, it got changed by somebody who was authorized to make the change and it got changed in the manner that it was supposed to be changed. Right? So that is integrity mm -hmm. and that deals with authorization. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it is very important for that data um, uh, confidentiality and privacy to make sure that things like authentication happen. So that is that first bit, the privacy bit, that um, uh, we are making sure that data at rest is encrypted, that data in transmission is encrypted. So that's the you know, PIA, you know, privacy, integrity, availability. So, and all three of those are really uh, important for secure by design. So you have to think about how am I gonna secure my data at rest? How am I gonna secure my data at trans transmission? Who's authenticated? Who that I know, you know, that whoever is changing my data is who they say they are. And then who's authorized to change my data? So all three of those become uh, really important for security by design. I have to design and think about all three. Now, I said in the introduction that um, Comcast believes that security is not just about uh, business or technology or business and technology. It's also about culture. Um, yes. And I read that, uh, I believe, on your website. Yes. What does that mean? So um, it's, it's really um, any kind of big change uh, that we think about. Um, and this is classic change management, by the way, right? Um, it's always about people, process, technology. And, and all three of those really together um, make a real change in the way that you think about things. So culture is you know, what you do when nobody else is looking, right? Mm. That's the definition of culture. So we want 
a security culture where, yeah, we have the tools, we have the technology, we have the business case, but we want to do it because it's the right thing to do. And it's part of our DNA. It's how we build products. It's how we operate, how we uh, run our services. We want to think about the privacy of our customers' data, uh, the security of our systems at all points. So it's a cultural issue as much as, if you ignore that part of it, if you just think, oh, it's just tools and technology, and yes, I have a business case, um, that's not sticky. Mm -hmm. You know, that may, that may work, but it doesn't stick in the long term. Culture makes it stick. I want to finish talking about network functions virtualization and any, what are the concerns, what are the overarching concerns that Comcast has when it comes to NFE security? Right, so um, I think they're the, the same concerns that are, um, you know, that everybody has. So um, first of all, you know, we, we talk about concerns, but there are also lots of benefits, right? So once you virtualize, you can um, scale, there's elasticity, there is the ability to do um, security um, as, as a service. There is a um, great amount of flexibility. You can kind of look at your network as one monolith, you know, just a, a blob, and, and start securing the perimeter. Or you can get as deep inside it as you want. So you can do things like, you know, micro-segmentation, where you can separate out and put, you know, virtual firewalls around uh, the most valuable assets that you have um, in your company usually, which is our customers' data and information. So, so, so that's all the good parts, right? Um, but as with any new technology, um, any new system, there's also the concerns. So the concerns are around, um, there are not too many standards yet um, in that area. They're emerging, but, but they're not there yet. Um, there is also, with commoditization, you know, we have now open systems with open APIs. Um, you know, anybody can go in and, and program the network. So now we have to start making sure that anybody doesn't go in and program the network, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So, so um, the concerns are around standards, around openness, um, around uh, the architectures start resembling each other, right, as this becomes more and more commoditized. Mm -hmm. And once architectures start resembling each other, you know, once you figure, figure one out, you can now kind of duplicate that from a bad intent just as much as a good intent. So those are the kind of things that you would worry about. But I really think the benefits will probably outweigh the um, concerns. And the concerns will be addressed as this field matures. So I want to apologize for uh, making you tell us what DevSecOps was. <laughs> Say that um, three times in a row did, really yeah, fast, exactly. right? So. Well, you did it very well. So uh, thanks thank for your you. time. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much. All right, appreciate it. Thanks. And uh, thank you for joining us at TIA 2016 Network of the Future, uh, right here from the Dell TINL studio. For more coverage, you can visit us at tinow.org. So long. <laughs>